sheathe your sword, Elf. I'm here to talk. Bow low. You stand before a head crowned. That of Demavend, King of Eder, by the grace of the gods, sovereign of the Pontar Valley, and so on. And you are? A friend to non-humans. I have an offer. Speak quickly and to the point. The Arrakis will soon return, and I'd rather know all before then. I can add several more heads to this one. Each crown. Go on. Full death to start with. I barely escaped in Eder. I'll need help. Access to your hideouts and maps of your secret trails, and the support of the Scoia'tael. I want no gold and have no interest in the killer's fame. Then why do you wish them dead? It's a long story. Your beast now is mad. Time to go. Do we have a deal now? Flotsam should be just beyond the point. We'll take the beach. Who's we? You and me. Reconnaissance. I'm coming too. You should stay behind. We can't be sure of the reception we'll get. Precisely why I won't let you go alone. Someone's got to look after you. That time of the month. Any news from your secret informer? The port's blocked. Some merchants are being held up for months. What about roads through the forest? Yorveth rules the forest. Where are we? In a forest? Very funny. But who does it belong to? Yorveth, maybe? I know more about the Pontar Valley than you think. For instance, I know that Foltest stole this land from Denevend a few years back. I believe you had a hand in that? Hear that? I smell an elf! That's Vernon Roach, Special Forces Commander for the last four years, servant of the Temerian King, responsible for the pacification of the Mahakaman foothills, hunter of elves, murderer of women and children, twice decorated for valor on the field of battle. Yorvert, a regular son of a whore. I've long awaited our meeting. Laid plans, set traps, and now you appear in my forest of your own volition. You aided the man who slew my king. King or beggar, what's the difference? One dwan less. Since when did the Scoia'tael hire professional killers to do their dirty work? A dwan even. You've fallen low. A hired killer, true. But in all certainty, he is no dwan. Don't make a big deal of the race thing. Yet race is the very reason we fight. We have pointed ears, yours are rounded. We are few, yet long-lived. Your kind multiplies like vermin, though thankfully expires quickly. Humans and elves alike, trying to prove one shape is better than the other. Four hundred years of killing over the mold of the Oracle. The Kingslayer is among you. We've come for him. 
Then our interests collide. The Kingslayer is under my protection, and I'll not hand over a guest. You're just another old elf in a young elf's skin, using clever words to mask an obvious truth. Obvious, you say? This is not about race or freedom, or even vengeance. You're here because someone powerful told you to be. Someone who's using you. They may wear a crown, carry a magic wand, or even lead a guild. But be sure of this. It's not about your freedom, your rights, or your ears. Nilfgaard plowed you once. Now someone new does. Am I wrong? Those times are gone. No one will ever use the Square Tal again. Who are you addressing? Me? Yourself? Or the archers in those shrubs? Enough of this piss! Stale! You should have charmed the archers. They're coming. Geralt, the spell's still working. Stay close. What's happening? Triss is spent, so no more butterflies. Let's get the fuck out of here. Back to the boat? There's even more of them that way. We must fight our way toward Flotsam. Get your hands off my ass. Who did you think it was? I'm not a sack of flour or one of your commanders. I'm a woman. I noticed. Death <laughs> You know each other? Rather well. But he has amnesia. I actually took the Witcher by surprise when I killed Foltest. Fear not, Elf. I know Geralt. I know his weakness. Too many spells at once. You can die from that. See that? Yeah. The Kingslayer and Yorveth. You all in one piece? Who are you? I'm a witcher. Emirvar Emrys, spice merchant. A trader? In spices. Uh-huh. I'm the woman. My good man, we barely escaped death. Be so kind as to tell us where we might get some rest. We'll explain everything later. Very well. Head for the market square. You might be in time for the execution. Some ne'er-do-wells are going to hang. A dwarf and some bard. There's also an inn and a brothel. Oh yeah, the brothel sounds especially interesting. Take care now. Zoltan. Dandelion. My fool. Just great. What's the plan? We improvise. No killing. We'll take care of this, Triss. Geralt!
Geralt! Geralt! Over here, help! Step back, white one. Stand aside. I know those two and I won't let them hang. Piss on who you know. The law says they're to hang. Carry on and you'll join them. What are they going to hang for? They don't look dangerous. The charge is collusion with the Scoia'tael. Dandelion and Elven spy? The bard's hanging for debauchery. What? The sentence was he's to hang for debauchery. And a sentence is nothing to scoff at! Are you serious? Listen here, people. Is profligacy now a punishable offense in the free kingdom of Tamaria? Or are we in Nilfgaard? A piss off, freak! Or you'll have me to deal with. Think of the common folk, you're spoiling their fun. Well, a freak he may be, but he speaks true. Debauchery is one of my favorite pastimes, but I don't want a noose placed around my neck for pursuing it. The soldier boys paid us a visit or two, though we didn't have much fun. Away with you, Margot! Go back to your brothel! Time to go? Fine. But hear this, people. He sure liked to parade about, but his willy wouldn't come to attention. Ha! Stop the execution. Shut your trap. The singer's the hang and he will hang. This is a decent town. Whores and witches notwithstanding. Watch your words, guardsman. I don't know witches, but Margot's a decent woman. Shut it, all of you. Or I'll not vouch for what I'll do. Thinks he's tough, showing off his balls. Don't fret, people. I've seen the rot on them. <laughs> I'm warning you for the last time, Margot. You wouldn't hit a lady. You're no lady. What the hell is going on here? I said, what the arse fuck is going on? Uh, uh, I'd like to re re report. <laughs> Out of my sight, Clover. A few plowing bandits and you can't even hang them. And you, stay calm. Hands off your sword. Our scaffold embraces speeches and hangings. Which will it be? Your people started it. Short fuse with some of them. What do I care? They started, but you finished. I had to defend my friends. Will you release them? Terrible choice of friends, Witcher. I'd rather give you a thief. Relax. I'm joking. I hate thieves. We can put on another show. Bloody and serious this time, mind you. Or we can come to an understanding. Meaning? Listen here. You may have heard rumors of the tragic events that transpired during the siege of Lavalette Castle. Sadly, they are true. King Foltest is dead. It's likely that Scoia'tael had a hand in this heinous murder. So you see, none of you can feel safe. That is why today, wagons with armaments will roll out into Flotsam streets. I hereby declare a state of emergency. Await orders. Prepare to fight. And ready yourselves to avenge your fallen king. Now disperse. Go to your homes. What about them? They'll not hang for now. Let's say I'm reconsidering their cases. The scaffold's no place for civil conversation. We'll talk at my home. Your friends are free for the time being, but they're not to leave town. Come after dusk. <laughs> I'll be busy till then. There's one more thing. Welcome to Flotsam, Witcher. They were really going to hang us. I, I don't know. I didn't mean to torch that watchtower. Everything's all right, Dandelion. Let's get out of here. 
Oh, we owe. We owe you, Geralt. Thank you. Time to head the tavern. Come on down the line, you need a stiff drink. And while we're at it, I'll tell you an edifying tale of local hypocrisy that conceals lechery beneath a veneer of courtesy. Makes it nothing can hide the stench. Drop it there, Sergeant. Make room for the young and old. Ha <laughs> ha! Damn, that was close. Innkeep! Vodka! Triss Merigold! Lice eat me, but you are a treat to behold. Uh, just a little pale. Magic takes its toll, but I'll be all right. Good to see you in your beard again. Can somebody tell me what happened? You set off a month ago for Zoltan's wedding. That got fucked. There will be no wedding. Did you hear about Full Test? Rumors travel faster than the wind. Winds and rumors. I want to know the truth. I want to know how Full Test died. And the dragon. Was there really one there? And who rules Temeria now? Dandelion, calm down. You'll choke on your liquor. The dragon, well, the dragon appeared, and that's all I know. But where did the Lavalettes get a dragon? We heard it fought on their side, huge as a barn, they say. Dragons don't usually take sides. Maybe its lair was nearby, and it just felt threatened. If you hadn't driven it off, Foltus might not have taken the castle. Maybe. We'll never know for sure. Foltest's killer lay in wait in the tower, where the Lavalettes had hidden the royal bastards. He was well informed. Wait a minute, what were you doing there? I was protecting the king. After the first attempt, Foltest began treating me as his lucky charm. He ordered me to be at his side during the battle. The dragon separated us from the rest of the army. The killer disguised himself as a monk, a blind one at that. He let Foltest greet his children, wait until I had walked off, and cut the king's throat from here to here. Who did he flee? Jumped out a window into the river below. You're with Scoyatel were waiting in a boat. It was planned. And you're chasing him because he murdered the king? I was accused of a murder. I need to clear my name. Besides, I looked him in the eye before he escaped. He's a witcher. Then some brave Temerian soldiers showed up, piled on me, and knocked me out. No weddings on them. <laughs> the Bregan rigs broke off the engagement because some limp prick put it about that I joined the uprising in Vizima. I would be popular law refused to let a rebel firebrand join the family. And keep, where's our drink? It was like this. We got to Mahakam a week after the Grand Master died. Bought Zoltan an absolutely grand doublet, a pair of Garibaldi Krakows, and as a gift for Eudora, a jade stone as big as my fist. You were broke as a joke by the time Dandelion threw me a bachelor party at an establishment called the Tight Lane. Next day, we went over to the Breckenrigs. They welcomed us in, sat us down, and proceeded to discuss the superiority of Mahakaman mining know-how over any other. And that went on until dinner. Just when I thought I'd learned more than I ever wanted to know about mining, they served the soup. You could have held a pen drop. Old Brecken grows and he says, A real dwarf works a mine, not chases fame on the battlefield. You'll never believe this, Geralt, but they served duck blood soup. It was as black as tar. They must have dropped lumps of coal into the pot. Eat, Brecken Rick says. Then proceeded to slop two full balls of the shite. Old goat. Kids on his head. Since when have you worked for Roach? Hey, nobody said a word when you went out to save Temeria from the Grand Master and his mutants. Relax, Dandelion. I was just asking. Do what you want. You're an adult, kind of. <laughs> that wasn't very supportive. Laugh away. At least I decided to do something constructive. You used to spy for Redania. Now you're spying for Temeria. Some might call you a traitor. Ever tried to live off of poetry alone? The truth is, I'm a citizen of the world. As long as I don't serve Emperor Emir, I'm not doing any harm. Leave him be, get out. You play the spy a bit, get bored and draw it. You know how he is. Marido said you're working with the Scoyatel Zoltan. I have done many things in my life, get out. But I have never stooped to banditry. The Scoyatel don't consider themselves bandits. But I am no Scoyatel. Triss. You're the expert on Temeria. Tell us who's in charge now. It's chaotic and getting worse. The old families are fighting for supremacy, no holds barred. Baron Kimbolt and Count Merivel, I bet. Among others. After the assassination, while Geralt was in the dungeon, the Lords convened in a field near Lavalette Castle to choose a new ruler. Three days they debated. 
and it looked more like a bazaar than a meeting of nobles. Except the trade was in court and ministry positions, spheres of influence, royal privileges. Ha! <laughs> Humans! In spite of several duels and two poisonings, no king was chosen. Civil war was in the air. Did they ultimately resolve anything? No. It ended as usual. Sadly, John and Talos remains our only hope. Ah, the victor at Brenna, and Foltest's most tried and true field commander. Hmm. And during the deliberations, he was several days' march from Lavalette Lands, with an additional 2,000 armed men in tow. He's to keep the peace until a rightful monarch is chosen. He could find that ruling is to his liking. Natalis is a soldier at heart. He's not suited to rule, and I don't believe he even wants to. He's got the army behind him. Which is why he can guarantee peace. Why, well, a tenuous one, sure, but that's always better than civil war. Besides which, he's deeply in debt to a dwarven bank in which Philippa Eilhart as sorceress holds significant stake. Where were the mages? Aye. <laughs> Where were the great eminences of this world when they were truly needed? They weren't invited. Neither was I, but if not for their intervention, or rather that of a few influential sorceresses, Baron Kimball would have taken the throne. I was invited to sing at his court once. Afterwards he refused to pay me, and the food was awful. No way I'll stand to marry if he's crowned. I think I've heard enough about politics. Save yourselves, good folk! The beast attacks! We better get out there. Someone's casting spells. Sorceress, are you? A lot of good you did. Can't you hear me? Why didn't you help him? He's alive, isn't he? The beast nearly pulled him in the water while you stood staring like a calf at a shit-covered clover. Watch your words. Where's this beast? Ask her. Geralt. Ah, I guess we knew each other. Oh, look here. Birds of a feather. Let's say... I've heard of you. Master Witcher, this is foolish. The beast near pulled Sozek into the depths, and you're simply chatting with this damsel. All right. What happened? I came to Flotsam to kill the Cairn. Cairn? The monster that has effectively blocked the port. A moment ago, I had the good fortune to see it in all its splendor, but the local folk scared it away. Good fortune? You hear that, Sozek? That was some good fortune for you. Why is the beast in the port all of a sudden, eh? Summoned by the witch, perchance? To see it in all its splendor. Sozek doesn't look too good. Lay him inside somewhere. Right, we've dawdled enough already. Come on, lads. Let's go. What's this? I was ready for a rumble there. Shut it and come on. I apologize for interrupting, but I am Louis Merce, and I am chief person in charge of all matters related to monster hunting in Flotsam. It is in this capacity that I must inquire if you're willing to attempt to resolve the problem of our so-called Cairn, the beast that now blocks all trade traffic on the river. So, Witcher, are we willing? I usually work alone. I was here first, and I'll not relinquish this contract. My way or the highway, as the locals put it. Fine. Your way it is. You must contact the merchants on the waterfront as regards any rewards. Madame de Tanserville has, I believe, already conducted some preliminary negotiations. That I have. In that case, don't let me keep you. Triss, how long must I wait for you to introduce us? Sheila de Tanserville, advisor to Queen Zulika of Kovir. Kovir is a long way north. True. I had my doubts if the Cairn was worth the journey, but those were dispelled with what it showed today. Here to hunt down some ingredients? Triss Merigold, 
sharp as ever. You're thinking that... Troll eyes, ghoul venom, virgin's blood, all those disgusting marvels we take from dying species to throw into the cauldron at Sabbaths. Right, Triss? Absolutely. Virgins are a dying breed. Oh my. Your sense of humor seems to be intact too. But enough of these pleasantries. Tell me, Geralt. You saw the tentacle. What do you make of it all? The beast must be huge. Maybe inhabited one of the Pontar's tributaries before, hunting animals. Then it grew for some reason, and hunger drove it to seek fresh pastures. And on the Pontar it found trade barges burgeoning with obese, slow-moving merchants. You're partly correct. Cedric claims the Cairan emerged from the northern swamps approximately one month past. Cedric? An elf. Formerly a Scoia'tael. Strange bird. But he knows quite a bit about the area and its living wonders. I need to look around, find out a few things. Hmm. An investigation. Witcher's rituals, extracting secrets and such. More or less. I'll talk to the merchants about the reward, pay Cedric a visit and get back to you. You'll find me at the inn. I've rented lodgings there, on the upper floor. You know the inn's also a horror house. Thanks for the warning. What do you want? Heard you have a problem. Ah, if only we had just one. Highways washed out, forests full of bandits, a river beast blocks the port, and tolls are to rise. Can't help with the tolls, but the monster's a possibility. A sorceress said the same, but we've yet to see any results. She's asked me to work with her. And who's to pay your wage? That's what I'm here to discuss. The sorceress was to manage alone. You can split that reward if you wish. Well, we're managing it together now, so as I see it, you should double the reward. <laughs> you jest! You'll double what you offered Lady de Tanzerville, because that's what the contract's worth. So be it. I assume you to be professionals and worth every last copper paid to you. It's a deal. Now tell me what you know about the beast. You're the Witcher, damn it! I've no knowledge of these things. Who could tell me more? That plowing elf, Cedric, most probably. He's supposed to know all about monsters. Where can I find him? In the village, outside the walls. Now leave me be. Where might you be going? Uh, what kind of question is that? Anyway, know where I can find an elf named Cedric? Don't get involved in this. Hmm, we did turn pale when we met Sheila. You must have imagined that. I know you too well. Sheila's one of the most powerful sorceresses. That's no reason to fear her. She can't be trusted, in my experience. I know her to be devious and manipulative. Any proof? She's well aware you lost your memory, yet pretended she didn't know. And why would she do that? I don't know. Her true intentions have always been hard to fathom. I'll see if I can't learn what they are. How? I'll go hunting with her, right after I find Cedric. Well then let's go see him. He should be at the top of his observation tower. In Belk. It'll be nearly a year now. Moril would delight in a day like this, Saharan. Enjoy the memory of her. Don't wallow in the long run. I try. I do. But I cannot believe all the bad blood this disappearance has bred. Don't let other shade poison your memory of her. Hatred is but an outlet for helplessness. Thank you, Cedric. Vafail. Vafail. Are you Cedric? Who asks? Geralt of Rivia. Ah, the Witcher. And? Triss Marigold. Lovely scent, Triss. Cedric, look at me. What do you want, Geralt of Rivia? I aim to kill the Cairn. Heard you might be able to help. That depends on the sort of aid you seek. I need information. We should have killed it years ago. No. Now I don't know. The beast has become too large for the riverbed, and it has strange growths on its tentacles, extremely thick skin. Previously, it inhabited a swamp along one of the Pontar's tributaries. Completely wild terrain. Even the Scoia'tael don't venture there. You should go see the wreck of the boat it recently sank. 
inspect any traces it's left, see the destruction. Where's this wreck? Venture south into the forest, then turn east toward the river. You'll find the ruins of a bridge erected long ago by the Enche. The wreck lies at their foot. Thanks, Cedric. Who exactly are you? One who warns humans against the dangers that lurk in the forest. Care to clarify? I am old, even for an elf. Yet the forest is older. I've lived in it for years and understand it, though it's nothing I can explain. At times I make mistakes and people don't come home. So you help humans? I just know if it's safe to venture beyond the gates or not. The elf woman you were talking about, how did she disappear? Sir Harim believes the forest took her. What do you believe? Moril simply vanished, almost a year ago now. Some say she was too beautiful, and Dwan must have harmed her. You believe that? If I have no evidence before me, I try to trust my feelings. And they tell me the forest did not take her. Why would you keep that from Sir Harim? Because it's meaningless. Perhaps she was murdered, perhaps she departed on her own, never to return. She's gone. And neither I nor Sir Harim can reverse that. What are the Scoia'tael fighting for? Do you ask about the old ones, who hoped to restore our race to its previous glory? Or about the young ones, who fight for survival and out of suicidal revenge? Yorvith's warriors. Which mold do they fit? They believe they are still independent, and that there is but one just way to view their cause. In truth, however, they're but a shadow of the Enche's former glory. They cling to delusions to the very moment when a sword or a noose ends their life, or until they realize the truth themselves, which is, I believe, the worst. Maybe I'll come back when you're sober. You witches live a long life. You may indeed get to see that day. You'll find me by the boat wreck. Sheesh, Triss. Sure you're not overusing those teleports? I wonder what's left of that wreck Cedric mentioned. If the Karen attacked the boat, it's not likely to be much. We're looking for traces of the beast, not boats. Magical danger. Nice to run into some old friends. Almost brings a tear to your eye. Let's examine the traces of the Karen and get out of here. Wait a minute. What are you going to do? Cast a simple diagnostic spell. It should answer a few questions. This monster's sick, though. It's dying. How much time does it have left? A few years. Perhaps a decade and change. Too long. What's wrong with it? Any information could be useful. The diagnostic spell showed that some of the cells in its body have mutated. What makes you think it's dying? I mean, I'm a mutant. The mucus cells I diagnosed are very similar to cancer cells. In some ways, they're more effective than healthy cells, but they're out of control. They converge to create a red tissue. Very unpleasant. The poor thing. But you brought up an interesting point. Want to know the core difference between mutants and non-mutants? Of course I do. The changes made through alchemy and magic in your body would require thousands of years to develop on their own. This development would result from genetic errors that would cause your body to adapt, become a more efficient organism, effectively mutate, but over a very long time. When this development occurs over millennia, across multiple generations, we proudly call it natural selection, evolution. When it occurs quickly, in a single organism or a few representatives of a species, we frown on it as mutation. And here I thought you liked me. What else? The Cairn's highly venomous. Any ideas for an antidote? Your witcher's metabolism should neutralize small doses of the toxin. But if I were you, I wouldn't rely on my mutations alone. An Osmark potion should do the trick. I know the herb, but haven't the faintest where I might find it around here. I need to think, figure out how I want to fight the Cairn. Maybe I won't need the potion. 
Do what you will, but don't say I didn't warn you. Sheila might be eager to get this done, but before you go see her, ask some of the locals about Osmark. You could try Cedric. Here's the formula for the potion. I need to take care of some things. Manage without me for a while? <clears throat> see you. Cedric, I need some Ostmark. It's a rare variety of moss, grows underground. I know it. There are some caves to the south, deep in the woods. If Ostmark grows anywhere in the area, it will be there. Witcher, I've been awaiting you. We need to kill a monster that sinks boats. Afraid? No, but I suspect we'll need to draw it onto the shore. Leave that to me. I can't wait. I bet it's something spectacular. Believe it. You'll do the honors. The honors? Once on the riverbank. You'll kill him. Her. Whatever it is. Did you find out where the Cairn came from? I didn't even try. So I take it you know it was created by a mage. I guessed as much. And what of it? Do you wish me to feel guilty, apologize for some madman? I don't intend to. How did you know it was a mage? Triss claims that Cairn was born of magic. She's right. Something that large couldn't possibly evolve in the waters of the Pontar. It looks like the result of some botched experiment. It's growing rapidly and will probably age just as quickly. Are you and Triss friends? Friends? Colleagues, I'd say. Acquaintances, perhaps. I know all the sorceresses in the north. We aren't that many in number. Which is why we support one another. What's that? It looks impressive. A megascope. What does it do? Many complicated magical operations. It allows me to communicate with other sorceresses, for instance. I've got everything I need. Let's go. Excellent. Ready? Are you wearing makeup? We all have our rituals. From what I know, Kairons are colorblind. Enough, Geralt. Time to draw the beast out of the water. Got an ace up your sleeve? I always do. Don't get eaten, and we'll soon both be heroes. I hope you're right. You descend into the lair. I'll stay on the bridge and pull it out onto the bank. Take care. It'll be extremely dangerous, even on land.
Not a bad fight, wouldn't you say, Geralt? Are you alright? I'm fine. I've used up much of my energy, so if you needed help... I've learned to help myself. Hmm, a sorceress worried about me. Should I be scared? Playing it tough, like every Witcher. New bruises and scars come with every fight. Toughness comes from experience. I talk like an old man. Yes, your hair is grey, but I believe the blood courses quickly through your veins. Have you made plans that include me? For now, my plans only involve the Kran. Farewell then. Don't forget to collect the reward. Oh, I won't. Job done. The Kran's dead. Good work. You've earned your reward. Hey, boss. Look who's graced our smithy. That titan of the art of smithing can't hear us. Busy. Works a blur in his hands. And how are you, Witcher? Things working out for you? Nice workshop. Ah, it's no workshop, just a simple forge. But thanks for the compliment, both in my name and the master. So how can we help you, eh? What? The Commandant wanted to see me. Leave your weapon here. Guard it with care. It's very valuable. Wait, Wolf. I need to talk to the Commandant too. You're going inside or not? Listen, friend. I'm an officer and you're a runt. And when I say jump, you will not only... Come on, Roach. With these cunts, Laredo couldn't protect the port from a drunk lumberjack, let alone Yorveth. He's succeeded so far, Roach. The port is rotting away, and this prick throws fireside feasts. A ballista! The bastard's got a ballista! You know the power of this weapon. Mm. Its arms strengthened with bronze plates and strung with horsehair. It can propel heavy bolts up to a mile away. Yeah, an experienced crew can release two bolts each minute, but it can't hit the same spot twice because it recoils and shifts. I've heard that somewhere before. Where did you learn about ballista? I knew someone who knew a bit about them. Unimportant. We need to damage it if we don't want to be at Laredo's mercy. They're all drunk here now. I'll provoke the guard. Relax, Roach. I don't want to fight this rebel again. As long as that weapon's operational, no one will sail this section of the Pontar without Laredo's express permission. I'll handle this. Go have a drink. Nothing better than a fireside feast. <laughs> Except a fireside feast. What do you need, ugly? Ugly? Well, you ain't exactly handsome. But? I wouldn't worry. Women prefer ugly men to groomed dandies. And you're ugly something mighty. Care for a romp? Can't just now, but I'll find you later in town. What's your name? Margarita. I wanted to surprise my friend, the sad-looking guy by the ballista. Some idiot wanted me to read him poems recently. Extravagance, as I say it, I didn't like it. I was thinking of something a little more traditional. What would you have me do? Just go with your specialty. I'm off to give the boy some diversion. So long as Care he can afford to tell diversion, it. Brave I'll not lend an ear for duty. less than ten oh, orans. come on. Your comrades are well at it having their fun. Why should you be any worse? You're right. Let's go. Nothing better than a fireside feast. <laughs> Except a fireside feast with copious amounts of liquor. <laughs> the list is decommissioned. Perfect. Let's go see Laredo. Laredo's busy with that witch Sheila. Come back later. Geralt, let's wait downstairs in the yard. Do we wait until the Honorable Lady is done with the Venerable Hick? Waste of time. Looks like a good number of Flotsam's town watchmen are here. We should look around. Did you see that arbalist behind the house? I'll get his attention. Give him something to think about. Why don't you find out what they're guarding so closely? Soldier, report to me immediately!
What do you're you want? Beautiful. Shut it, soldier. Have respect for your superiors or spend the rest of your life on the King's Galley. Apologies, sir. I didn't realize. As I see it, the entire garrison. Pretty little Mary has found a treasure trove. Please, please, a cocoa block rug. You forget who you're dealing with, Commandant. You must think me an idiot. I cannot help myself. You take guardsmen off the streets to guard carpets, fabrics and spices pilfered from merchants. Do you have any grasp of the responsibility that rests with you? Don't teach an old man to piss, sorceress. I've ruled Flotsam for years. Flotsam is ruled by a fear of your death. That fear rules even you. I've made my demands perfectly clear. Like a crying babe deprived of its rattle. In time, Commandant, they'll hang you by the neck from a roadside tree like a regular bandit. And rightly so, for you're no better. Your time will come too, sorceress. They'll pile kindling at your feet. Enough. Fear has confused you. Think over what I said and give your answer before it's too late. Laredo's storing valuable gifts from the merchants right here. He may be expecting Yorvath to attack. I overheard the Commandant talking to Sheila. I couldn't pinpoint the topic of their conversation, but it seems to me he's angling for something. We'll see what he has to say. Go in. They await you. Where are we to go? I'd hardly call this a hut. You, I mean you, sir, cannot enter. We've been ordered to let in the Witcher, but no one else. Son of a bitch. Fine. He wants to play hard, we'll play hard. I don't want any trouble. I'll call for support! No need. Tell Lorito I got the message. See you, Roach. Here to see the Commandant. We have business to discuss. Good luck. He's in a foul mood. Why? We'll talk another time, and definitely elsewhere. Finally! They didn't want to let me in while the Sorceress was here. Did you see her? Made up like a whore on parade day. They think they can do anything, those sorceresses. I heard what happened in Tamaria. You know your name's on a warrant. It's unfortunate, though nothing that should impede our dealings. See, I'm the law round here, and the law needs to know what the legendary White Wolf's doing in this cesspit. I'm looking for the man responsible for Foltest's death. Here? I know the Scoyatel had a hand in it too. It's their trail I followed to Flotsam. Lucky you found Bernard Lurido then. If you're telling the truth, your vet's got raw blood on his hands. I can help you find him. The Kingslayer. That's who I want. Huge man, pretty hard to mistake. Was it him? Yeah, he killed Foltest. Now he's sneaking around these woods. In that case, we'll get him too. I heard you killed the Cairn. Flotsam is grateful. Let's say that squares the crimes of your friends. They're free to go. I trust you're on our side. Whose side is that? That of the people of Flotsam, of course. Terrorized by the elven bandits for years now. A local conflict, none of my business. You killed some elves on the riverbank outside Flotsam. We were attacked. You failed to understand. It's you who doesn't understand, Lorito. To tell you the truth, I'm not human. You an elf? A dwarf? 
No, talking bollocks. I piss on the fact that they call you freak for your white hair and glowing eyes. You're a human like any other. We're fighting a war. And you, my friend, cannot straddle the fence. What about the elves and dwarves in the trading post? The smiths, peddlers, and hunters? They eat with you, sleep among you. Whose side are they on? Hell if I know. That's my point, Witcher. When you fight for survival, you need to be sure who your friends are. The non-humans in Flotsam, sure. They eat, fuck, shit among us. But when Yorveth sounds the battle horns, who knows what they'll do. I'm surprised they haven't turned on you already. How so? The town guards treat non-humans like shit. Frankly, I don't know what keeps them here. I'll tell you what, Geralt. The hunger they'd face in the forest. But I grant you, those acts of uh, insubordination need to be stopped. Soldiers are simple men. When you see your mate die, a scoyatel arrow in his throat, it's hard to look favorable at the elf who sells your wife colored kerchiefs. You're a witcher. Your job is to protect the simpletons from monsters. I protect them from the danger that lurks amongst the trees. I see where this is going. Yorvitz no better than a monster that attacks those who go out to gather kindling. Matter of fact, he's worse. He's smarter and crueler. How do we get him? I don't want you to kill him. Even you don't have a hope against his entire force. I have an idea, but I'd rather not go into it now. The squirrels are up to something. Every night their scouts come closer. I suspect they plan to attack the barge moored in the port. What's on the barge? You mean who? Bandits, murderers, rapists. On their way to the dungeons at Drakenborg. As soon as... Their infamous leader joins them. The cherry on the cake and Bernard Lorito's crown trophy. Couldn't have put it better myself. As long as Yorveth remains free, humans, elves and dwarfs will live alongside each other in deep distrust. I've got to learn what the pointy-eared rat is planning. How am I supposed to get that information? <laughs> you underestimate me, Witcher. True, I have my prejudices, but I'm not blinded by them. Take your friend Zoltan, for instance. He contacted Yorveth. I'll talk to Zoltan. I trust you'll make the right decision. Farewell. Well, well. How's the Commandant as a host? It's people like him who might help us. <gasps> or put us in shackles and throw us into the river. He told me they're keeping Scoyatel prisoners on a barge in the port. Did he mention if Kirin Epesnelen, Yorvet's right-hand elf, is among them? No. He may know something about the Kingslayer. Let's pay him a visit. What do you want? To speak with the wounded prisoner. No one's allowed. I'm here on Commandant Lorido's orders. I already cut a deal with you, but... So get out of my way. He won't tell you much. He's dying. They beat him bad. He's got at least a dozen fractures. I'll need your help. What do I do? The spell I'm going to use is painful. It could kill him if he thrashes around. I'll use the Axie sign to calm him. Perfect. Birdie's all wet. Hey, Birdie! You get wet just looking at me? Get ready, Birdie! We'll be there to see you right off. It's no use. You wish, Horson. I'm no traitor. He's raving. That gun? Where am I? In Flotsam. On the prison barge. The convict's barge? I'm done for. How did Lorito's goons catch Yorveth's right-hand elf? I was betrayed. How else? There's a witcher in Yorveth's unit. Like every dwan. He turned out to be a bastard. What happened? He betrayed us. He said he had an offer for me. So we met, where Roses of Remembrance grow. I should have known. Roses of Remembrance? Yes. Some of the last in the world. He thought that I'd betray my elven brother in order to control the unit. I refused. And there was a fight. I've never seen anything like it. No human can move that fast. It was a massacre. I was the first to be hit. Thus I survived. I would have bled to death had Laredo's men not found me. Letho will kill Yorveth, and all will be lost. So many dead, so much suffering, all for naught. Why does the Dwan want Yorveth dead? He used us from the start. Our hatred, but he no longer needs Yorveth. Sees him as a thorn in his side. I don't know what Letho wants. 
What does Yorvith want? Why Flotsam? Go plow yourself. Only I can warn Yorvith. Tell me. He... We're fighting for much more, Witcher. Flotsam is only the beginning. We're no bandits, we fight for freedom. In due time, Yorvith will answer the call, and we'll emerge from the woods, joining the battle. What battle? He wasn't specific. In that case, I'll ask Yorvith himself. <laughs> I'd like to see that. Letho, he's the Kingslayer? Yes. We got what we came for. What now? Yorvith. What if Yorvith already knows? I've got an old saying all ready for him. My enemy's enemy is my friend. Warn him, Gwynplaid. Yorvith fights, for that is what he does best. He's Enshe, a real one, a free one. Among the last, fighting makes sense. Now more than ever before, there is still hope. What are you talking about, Kieran? Hope for what? For change. For a better tomorrow. I'll not see it. They'll torment me to death on this barge, and I'll go gladly where the apple trees bloom. But you must warn Yorveth. Yennefer told me that Ciri has departed for good. She inhabits another world and is happy there. Before she left this one, she gave us the Isle of Avaloch, our island. We stopped counting time. People believe that the wraiths of the wild hunt are immortal. They race across the heavens, gripping in their bony hands swords, their lightning bolts. They take away mortals, ever expanding their cavalcade of spectral riders. They burned the orchard and the house. In their armored boots, they trampled our island. And they made off with Yennefer. I had to get her back. Return to reality. Return to the Witcher's path. Geralt, are you all right? I've been to the Isle of Avalach, among the apple trees and the mists. After the massacre in Rivia, Suri took me there, and Yennefer. The Wraith Riders kidnapped Yen, and I pursued them. But... Triss, this is important. I feel like everything's coming together. When the Witchers found me barely alive a half year ago near Kaer Morhen, I was fleeing the Wraiths of the Hunt. They continued to pursue me. In the outskirts, then in Vizima when I killed the Grand Master. Now I know it was no coincidence. Kieran mentioned roses of remembrance growing somewhere near here. Cedric claims likewise. If that's true... Right now I should be searching the forest for Yorvith, not looking for flowers. I could restore your memory. You sure? Everything seems to indicate that. Whatever's blocking your memory is clearly weakening. I think I could break that barrier with just one petal from a rose of remembrance. Those flowers are truly powerful. In that case, Yorvith can wait. Want me to go with you? I'd love your company. All right then. Let's go. Cedric mentioned there are some old elven buildings near the Cascade in the forest. We should start there. Lead the way. Oh, I think we've arrived. The Cascade, the Menhir. We need to take the path leading upwards. Gardens in the middle of forests? Those elves really like to complicate things. Stop whining. It's not far now. Cedric told me a beautiful legend about this place. Legends are almost always beautiful, especially elven ones. The reality often leaves a lot to be desired. Well, Cedric also said the site itself was something wonderful. The rose must be here somewhere. I'll look around. Alden and Cymeril. Cedric said Cymeril eclipsed even Francesca Findebear with her beauty, and Francesca's reputed to be the world's most beautiful woman. Cedric drinks too much. He really has visions, you know. He really has the gift. He could learn to control it if he drank less. Cedric drinks to get rid of the visions, and that's something I understand perfectly well. 
Oh my, lovers. Look, girl, it's beautiful. Mm -hmm. I just don't understand it. How did the elves become so cruel? The one with the scar had so much hatred in him. Places like this make you realize just how much they've lost. There used to be entire elven cities, and the forests were theirs to enjoy, not to hide in. Humans destroyed that, put them in reservations. Yorvith and his kind are taking revenge, though not all elves are like that. Kieran said there's a lot more at stake. He has his ideal, a certain vision of the world. But do you think there's room for humans in it? We're practically one and the same. Wrong, Triss. We've been learning from each other for generations, but we're different at base. I don't know why I find that awfully sad. Just like this garden. Beautiful and sad. Triss. Slimeril's Rose of Remembrance. Legend has it they wilt unless nourished with blood, and also if they're sold. But give it to someone you love, and it'll live forever. This one's for you. Oh, Geralt. I want you to keep it. If there's any truth to the legend, it shouldn't wilt. Even if you pluck a petal or two. Thank you. This is the statue, Curly. Don't mind us. Imagine the corn we'll get. I won't leave the brothel for a month. Six weeks even. Where does that woman get the gold for all this? I mean, her and the old man, they're buying a new house. And now these statues for the garden. Must be defrauding the treasury. What's a town chancellor do anyway? It'd be plowing hard to move. We'd never shift it in one piece. I know. We'll break off the legs, the heads, remove it in bits. Break off your own head, clown. Shut your trap, cunt. Watch out! Incredible what the end shape built before human ships ever appeared in the Pontar Delta. Elves possess a sensitivity humans can't ever hope to acquire. Looks like we're stuck. Mm -hmm. well, there must be another way out of here. Mm -hmm. Why are you looking at me that way? Do I have something on my face? Uh -uh. What's going on in that head of yours, Witcher? Oh, you know. Stuff. You could use a bath. So could you.
a witcher's blade. Letho comes here to think. Well, he's not here now, so we've no reason to stay. The Dwan stole the story of Elden and Cymru, but they now steal our roses of remembrance. A more silly and shallow tale I've never heard. An enchanted wood, a beautiful elven couple living within. A handsome human prince arrives, riding a milk-white stallion. Bloody Dwan. We Enche remember how it works. Limitless devotion, passion, commitment, and sacrifice. Legend has it the lover's sighs are enchanted in these very stones, though only those in love can hear them. Singing bushes, jabbering stones, elven hogwash. We should take walks more often. For a while there, I forgot all about Flotsam, the Skoyatel, the Kingslayer, the whole world, really. Nice to know I still have that power. I need time to devise the spell. It could take as much as a few days. Mm -hmm. What do you plan to do while you wait? I'm going to meet Yorvith. Well, don't get yourself killed. That'd be pretty stupid now. What are you getting at? You're about to recover your memory, which will give you a whole new perspective on things. We'll learn what happened to Yennefer. Uh-huh. And you expect me to drop everything and tell Roach, Hey, it's been great, but I've got places to go and people to find? You know, you could. I, I mean, you don't really owe him anything. I'm just afraid you'll get caught up in something and you won't be able to back out. You're that's a sly old elf. He's been fighting humans for a full century at least. This Letho is no common bandit either. And I shudder to think who put him on the warpath. It's a mire, Geralt. Deep and hungry, and it could swallow you whole before you know it. It possibly already has. I want you to know that I'm prepared to travel to the end of the world with you to save Yennefer. I owe you that. I owe her that. I'm prepared to drop everything. The trappings of court life, politics, the regicides. I could even live at Kaer Morhen. It's up to you. Triss. Let me finish. I can only say this once. If you want to go alone, I'll understand. And I won't try to persuade you otherwise. If all goes well, I'll catch the Kingslayer before you finish preparing the spells. And if it doesn't go well? Triss, do you really expect me to spend two days at the tavern drinking with the locals while Letho's out there taking control of a Scoyatel unit? No, but what will you do? What if Yorveth scoffs at your news? What if he says Letho's escaped and no one knows where to find him? Will we go? Will we leave the Regicide to Roach and continue with our own lives? I really would like to go, but I need to clear my name. Foltest's men and bounty hunters of all kinds would never let it go. We'd be fugitives, and that's not a life I'd want for me or for you. Besides, I'd feel as if I'd given up when there was still something to do. I'd feel like I fled. And as I see it, we haven't lost yet. Whatever your decision, I want you to know you can count on me. I need a few days to prepare the spells. I need to talk to Zoltan about Yorvith. It's not a closed conversation. We'll talk again, but only after I've settled things with the Kingslayer. Geralt! Geralt! There you are. Is everything all right? This is nice. What a beautiful place. Very. How do you find us? Finding those I seek is a speciality of mine. Now, let's get out of here. The Scoyatel are out in droves. Zoltan, I need to ask you a favor. Shoot. I heard you know the local Scoyatel. You heard? Meaning some goods arse and a helmet hollered it out in the market square. I need some way to get to this Yorvith. You know, I don't want you thinking more chummy with the Scoyatel. And Yorvith detests me. 
Why would you want to see him anyway? He knows where the Kingslayer is. Yorveth? And here I always thought I'm a common thug. All right. No reason to sit on our arses. Come on. You can tell me everything on the way. Lead on, Zoltan. Tell me, who said I have contacts? Stay away from you tell me. The Reno. What a prick. That's why he wanted to hang you? For making deals with the squirrels? What? I met a few, yes, but made no fucking deals. What about their leader? They say your vet's mad, but they score your teller at his beck and call. Sod knows what he wants. Hope he'll tell me what it is. Tell you what, of two evils, Lorido's the beggar prick. Because he almost hanged you? Because he stirs up the locals against non-humans. And there's what he's colluding with Kedwin. What's his aim? Greed! King Hansel would gladly annex more land and grant Lorido privileges. We've got a long way to go. We need to go deeper into the forest. I hope they didn't change the password. You know their password? What are you playing at, Sultan? All right. The Scoyatel asked me to command the unit. No wonder Lurita wanted you hanged. <laughs> they may have asked, but I didn't accept the fucking offer. This is it. It was due to meet them here. I know. They're aiming arrows at us. What? Girl, I know full well you're always vigilant, but quit poking fun at me. Give them the password. What them? Hurry up, they're edgy. Here, kick out! Stop bawling. What do you want? Countersign. Heidegger. I asked you a question. Take us to Jorvith. Why? If we wanted to speak with you, we wouldn't ask for your leader. Yorveth won't talk with you. You don't know that. Leave while you're still able. The two of you won't scare us off. There are four more in that tree. How do you know? I can hear them breathing. One's sick. We're on Fistech. How? He's wheezing. What? You elven cocks gone soft? We just want to talk to Yorveth. Wait at the clearing. The dwarf knows where. We'll let Yorveth know. Make sure you do. Come on, get out. I know what those elven pricks have planned. Been there once. What are you talking about? That clearing is a monster's lair. Huge horse son with a shell on its back. An Ericus in these parts? I thought that was impossible. I don't know the shit's name, but it's terrifying. They sent us into a trap. Tough. Let's go. We're here. That creature crawls down there. Right where we're supposed to meet Yorveth. Exactly. Any ideas? I last fought an Ericus some time ago. I never had the swiving pleasure. Not that I mind. Wait here. What are you... To think me a limp prick? This is the place the elves mentioned. That thing approaching us is no elf. I'll leave it to you, Geralt. Monsters are not my speciality. Die. A lovely show, Gwynblade. But tell me, was it worth it? An uneven fight and certain death await you anyway. I could ask you the same thing. What do you want, Batgun? Speak quickly before I kill you both. Letho betrayed you. He wanted to make a deal with your comrade, Kieran. Kieran Ep Esnilen is dead. Two weeks ago, his warriors were ambushed and killed. You should invent better lies, Gwynblade. He's on the barge, wounded but alive. He turned Letho down, and his unit paid the ultimate price. 
If you speak the truth, Letha will die. But words alone are not enough. What's your angle, Yorvith? You wouldn't understand. Hiding in woods, killing berry pickers, eating roots. We live by our own rules, doing what's necessary to attain our goal. What is your goal? What's it to you, Geralt? Esat Vatkan? You tell me to stuff it up my ass. Not everything deserves that fate. My life now depends on your whim, so I'm curious. Then listen well. The two dead kings were whoresons who damned their own children to stay in power. But in the East, there's someone truly deserving of a crown. So the hired assassin turned out to be a traitor? It's his word against yours. For now, why do you trust him? Because he's a Dwan who agreed to do shady work for you? He did what had to be done. He proved nobody's untouchable. You still trust this assassin? You may be lying. If I'm lying, so did Kieran. We'll investigate it for his sake. We shall see how Letha reacts to your sensational news. Where is he? The ruins of Kelmawed. For some reason, he likes the place. My unit will cover us. Ready? Why did you want Foltest dead? He might have appeared charming. But in reality, he allowed the Elder Races in Temeria to be oppressed. He was like old Dwan, but his death has more significance. We need to go. We need a ruse. Tell Letho you've captured me and want to hand me over to him. And you? I'll be unarmed, hands bound. If you're not lying, his reaction will confirm it. I don't trust you, of course. My warriors will cover us if you try anything stupid. I get it. I don't think so. Do anything stupid and they'll tie you down on an anthill, face coated with honey. You'll scream so loud even the storm riders will hear you. Are you always so grandiose? We could just tell Letho to own up. I'd fail men here yet then, brother. Conquer with courage rather than strength. Exactly. Let's go. Make sure you don't betray our rules. Geralt of Rivia, what's the meaning of this? I'm here to negotiate. Uh, Yorveth, the woodland fox caught at last. I underestimated you. Who are you? You really don't remember? I'm sick of that question. So it's true. And here I feared that you would ruin it all. I am Letho of Gullet. I'm a Kingslayer. Joke's over! Unbind me! Tell me who you're working for, and the elf is yours. We work for ourselves. We? The Kingslayers. Demavend? Foltest? Who else? Who the hell are you? We've met Gerald. Do you remember? No. I'll never forget it. You saved my life. White Wolf. We fought side by side. Now we'll cross blades. This wouldn't be necessary if I'd killed Yorveth first. Serret and orcs will drown in their own blood. Oh, I don't think so. My men will finish their task long before the Skyatel in the Ponter Valley realize you're dead. Serret and orcs, who are they? Kingslayers the Skyatel are assisting in the Pontar Valley, in Upper Edern. I wondered what a human was doing among the Squiatel. My enemy's enemy is my friend. Know the same? The Squiatel are my brothers in vengeance. This doesn't need to end in blood. Tell me everything. Enough of this farce! Vedrai Enlay! What game are you playing? What we just lost. My sword. Die! I have to kill you. Try it, but I'm no king. 
Such a pity we're on opposite sides. I see you still know how to fight. Why do you hound me? They think I killed Voltec. It's your own fault for playing soldier boy. idea how many people were eager to help us. You really think they will all keep quiet? Your vest time is running out. The others will be judged and condemned for sowing chaos. So, why? You were one of us, Geralt. You saved us. Now we're even. Your witch is good with magic. Think she'll be able to teleport me to Edirn. If she behaves, I won't harm her. I'll find you. See you in Edirn, then. Where's Roach? We killed a few of his men. The rest ran. Is Letho dead? On his way to Flotsam. How do you know? He wants to find Triss. Kill him. Before he contacts the others. You shouldn't have trusted a Dwan. Let's go. We can't go there, Geralt. The garrison. Of course. I forgot what kind of warriors you are. Mess Ted, Gwynblade. Good luck. Finally, we'll show the non-human rabble their place. Damn massacre. Those sons of bitches have gone mad. We were too good to you. Fattened yourselves on our toil. Look, lads, another freak. What do you want? Leave the dwarf alone. He's done you no harm. Right, he's our neighbor. We best go home, folks. Thanks, Witcher. If not for you, I'd be a dead dwarf. Hi, the humans have gone mad. You're killing innocents! Innocents? Who was it that slaughtered our lads in the forest? Stinking non humans. Geralt! And now, good people, return to your homes before you taste a witcher's blade. So what'll it be, innkeeper? 
they killed my son. Damned elves. I want their blood for that. You'd best calm down if you want to live to sire another son. What do you say? You'll meet your match one day, freak. Consider yourselves lucky, elven scum. But one day... Come on, folks. Thank you, Gwynblade. We'd be dead if not for you. The sooner we flee, the better. Take care. Who opened the gates of hell? I don't have any proof, but my coin's on Lorito. Rulers are always looking for a way to cover their mistakes and failures. And the mob always loves a circus, whether merry or bloody. This town will never be the same. The time of disdain has come. How did the rioting start? They say it's revenge for those soldiers who died following Roach. But they were just thugs on Lorito's pay. Almost no one misses them. Spontaneous riot my ass. Lorito's staying out of it, keeping his hands clean. But his thugs are inciting the mob. I've seen several soldiers and civilian guard leading it. But you won't find any proof against the Commandant. I don't intend to. Why don't the guards do anything? Why would they? The squirrels slaughtered their cronies, and Lorito hasn't given them any orders. We need to find Triss. Last I saw her, she was on her way to meet Sheila in her rented quarters at the inn. I told Triss about the megascope Zoltan's been building. Let's go. There's no time to lose. I was lucky enough to get the key to Sheila's nest. Incidentally, for a big woman, the innkeeper's wife is surprisingly nimble. What sort of freak is that? It's that sorcerer. Leave them alone. They've done you no harm. Right, they're our neighbors. Let's go home, lads. Thank you. I just about felt the blades chill between my ribs. You've done them no harm. Why are they so. The mobs always need a scapegoat after the feud. Take care of yourselves. Trading post is still boiling. Not good. Don't just stand there. We need to look for clues. Sheila's bodyguard. His neck's broken. No wounds. So that's not his blood. Triss enters, breaks the guard's neck, then wounds herself? That's stupid. A lot of blood. Too much. What a mess. Somebody had a good time in here. Trashed everything. I don't get it. Someone else had to be here. Dandelion, look. What is it? A peephole. Someone might have been spying. The brothel's behind that wall. Maybe the madam saw what happened. Let's go. Come back later. We're closed. They've killed one of my girls. It's Darai, Geralt. That was her room. What happened? They murdered her. Yesterday, they loved her, drank wine with her, told her she's pretty. Today, five of them came, drunk on blood, screaming filth. She had a client at the time? No, she was with me. What are you looking at? I was consoling her. I was hoping you knew what happened in the next room. I noticed a peephole. But if you were busy... We were, until we heard voices beyond the wall. Shilla normally cast spells that blocked both sight and sound. But there was nothing like that this time. We started peeping. Me first. I saw that redhead, Triss Merigold, and Cedric, our drunkard ex-squirrel. The redhead approached the magic mirror and said, let's see who our ice queen's been talking to recently. She meant Sheila. Even I figured that out. She waved her hands, shouted an incantation, and a man appeared in the room, mighty ugly. Darai was so scared, she squealed. 
When I finally got Durai out of the way, a different figure was in the room. A woman, Triss, called Philippa. Greetings, Philippa. Hmm? Triss, you're looking nice. Why are you using Sheila's megascope? I can't believe she approved it. That's like using her toothbrush. Sheila's oblivious to it. What did Sheila want from you? Isn't it obvious? Two northern rulers have perished. We've been thinking on these developments. Tamaria is in chaos and I lost my position. There goes the effort we put into building peace. What's your intention? What has the Lodge decided? I mean, it was created to protect the interests of magic. We'll adjust to the new order and make use of this situation. Five years of my work wasted? The peace of Sintra hangs by a thread and Tamaria will plunge into civil war any day now. There's nothing to use. We need to find those responsible and dispense justice. Calm down. Two things should be partaken cold. Sorrel soup and politics. Calculate and don't let your emotions lead you. We can't resurrect Foltest, so stop playing the Avenger. We'll proceed wisely and deliberately. We'll use the situation, understand? At least help me clear the Witcher's name. Triss, stop thinking with your vagina and get a hold of yourself. The Witcher will manage. Why did Sheila come to Flotsam? It's a delicate matter. We need someone at Henselt's court, but he hates sorceresses. I know. Henselt's only son died in a hunting accident three years ago. The king has failed to sire more offspring, in spite of trying incessantly. Sheila claims she can heal the king's faulty apparatus, but needs very rare ingredients. Which she intends to harvest from the Cairn. Exactly. This way a sorceress will have the king's ear again. I heard you left Redania. I intend to stop Edurn from falling apart. There's a popular uprising here, a real fight for freedom. You'd like it. I doubt it. It had started before Demaven's death. The rebels are led by a girl, both beautiful and smart. She's achieved the impossible. Humans and non-humans, nobles, burghers and peasants, marching side by side towards a new beginning. They gave the royalists a heavy thrashing. Now they're the only armed force in Edurn. What happened to Demaven's son, Prince Stennis? He's joined the rebellion and makes a virtue of necessity. He pretends to like the idea of equality and justice. What's your intention? To stop Henselt of Kedwin conquering Upper Edurn. Our bellicose king would become too powerful. Do you think the girl... Saskia the Dragon Slayer? Legend has it she killed a dragon. Can she oppose Henselt's might? It won't be easy, but she's already accomplished miracles. So war is inevitable. Henselt can't be reasoned with. That's all I know, really. Dandelion. Any idea who Philippa is? Philippa Eilhart. Sorceress counselor to King Radovid of Redania. A grand mistress of the world's most fetid cuisine. Politics. She's amoral in a crystalline way. So devoid of conscience that she's a phenomenon. Rumor is she's out of favor at the Redanian court. Which, if true, she probably arranged herself in order to leave the capital. What happened to Triss? I don't know. I already told you about the only conversation I heard. Just before those murderers came, they kicked me and stabbed her eye. But I heard fighting from the other room. The sorceress was screaming. When the murderers left, searching for other victims, I peered outside. Thought I saw Cedric sneaking through the alleys towards the forest. He was staggering. Thank you, Margo. I owe you. Witcher, wait. Give this to Yarveth. A letter? The names of Durai's killers. He'll understand. You're spying for Yarveth? I help him from time to time. Just give him the letter. I'll try, but I can't promise anything. Dandelion, wait here for me. I'm going to find Cedric. Kedmil, Gwynblade. I no longer feel the pain. Always wanted to die among trees. Cedric, what happened? Triss asked me for help. I killed the Dwan guarding the door, and we broke in. Again, I killed a Dwan. I know. 
Where's Triss? A witcher came in. Attacked us. I tried to protect Triss. He was fast. Too fast for me. He hit Triss before she could cast a spell. He knew how to fight a sorceress. Then he ordered her to activate the Megascope. He needed to get to Eden, near the dwarven town of Bergen. Triss said it was madness, but she didn't have the coordinates. He gave her a strange look, threatening. Better give it your best. You're going first, with me right behind you. Then I passed out. When I woke, they were gone. I knew I was dying. The forest pulled me. Why, Cedric? Why did you get involved? Why did you? Sometimes we must. Have I told you about my visions? That's why I drink. It helps. I'm safe in a mist of vodka. See nothing, feel nothing. Cedric, calm down. But now I see clearly. You need to regain your memory. Only then will you understand who's killing crowned Dwan. And why. How can I get it back? In Edda. In a place tainted with dark magic where ghosts of the Fallen will fight a great battle. Save their souls, and your memory will return. What's happening with the forest? I feel a presence. Geralt, where have you been? The Kingslayer, dammit. I almost had him. He fled. Teleported to Edern. What? How? He forced Triss to cast a spell. Shit. Roach sent me to find you. We're setting off. He's learned something new. The Scoyatel are also up to something big. What's Roach planning? He went off on Laredo, so it must concern the Commandant. It's something important. What are the Scoyatel planning? They want to storm the barge and they need your help. When did you join the Squiretel, Zoltan? It's not like that. They're taking the prisoners to Drakenburg. A special prison for non-humans. Bloody monument to human hatred. I'll talk to them. Maybe Roach or the Squiretel can finally be useful. Roach, things have gotten a little more complicated. What the fuck were you doing with the Squiretel? You gave Jorvet a sword. You followed me? I've got others who do that for me, Geralt. Vess, to be exact. Yorvith knows a lot about the Kingslayer, and they no longer see eye to eye. He could lead us to him. The only journey I'll make with Yorvith in tow is to the scaffold in Vizima's marketplace. The Kingslayer fled to Vergen in Edern. He forced Triss to teleport them both. Damn, he's made a mockery of us! If that's how he wants to play, I'll make him regret it. I heard you have news for me. Lorido has a deal with Kedwin. That merchant living in his house is Hensel's agent. For a pouch of gold, the good Commandant promised to support Kedwini troops in the event of a conflict. So what now? I want that spy to squeeze him for information. And I've sentenced Commandant Laredo to death. Roach, we have to sail. We need to get to Edern. I'm not leaving until I deal with Laredo. The spy may know something about the Kingslayers. I wouldn't be surprised if Henselt of Kedwin was behind all this. Flotsam's ablaze. How did it start? When Vess reported you'd met with Yorveth... I ordered Laredo to provide us with backup. The incompetent oafs were supposed to wait for a signal, but the crossbowmen were twitchy. We surprised them, but Yorveth, the Scoyatel, gave us hell. We barely escaped alive. Many of my men are wounded, but Laredo's people... 
When news that elves massacred a dozen soldiers hit the trading post, two of the soldiers' fathers decided to take it out on an elven girl. You can imagine what happened next. I'll be back later. Damn it, Geralt, it's not a date. You can't keep putting it off. Yorvith awaits you, Duan. Where is he? He forced Triss to teleport them both to Edern. No! The Scoyatel in Edern will pay for my stupidity with their lives. Elias, ready the unit to march. You'll leave immediately. There was a massacre in Flotsam. The streets run red with your brethren's blood. I know. That's why I need your help. You want me to murder humans at your side? I wish death upon every one of those Duan. But that's not the point. Upper Edern is our goal. Why Upper Edern? The Pontar Valley is a juicy piece of meat beset by hounds. The Scoyatel bite hardest. It's our land. Our forefathers' land. I'm no bandit, Gwynblade. I lead a great army. It sounds like you want to establish an elven state. There is already an elven state. Dolblathana. Francesca Finderbear rules there. Rules? She merely carries out Nilfgaardian orders. We want a truly free state, where an elf could visit a human inn. A land where humans could enter the forest without fear. And you plan to be king? King Yorvith I? I've already told you. I know the head the crown would fit. We merely have to place it there. Whose head is it? One who believes in integrity, honesty, and honor. A person who won't sell out to Nilfgaard for a few florins. A woman named Saskia. Is she your fiancé? Don't mock me, Gwynblade. It sounds like she's more important to you, not just a woman whose head would fit the crown. You'll understand once you meet her. Soon the whole world will hear of the Virgin of Edern. A woman blessed with extraordinary courage. Has she proven her courage, or is that just talk? She defeated a dragon. You said you're going to Vergen. True. Why go to a dwarven town? Henselt and his army have pitched camp on the right riverbank. The Virgin and a sorceress gather reinforcements to defend Edern. Which sorceress? Philippa Eilhart. What's a Redanian sorceress doing in Edern? Only she can reveal that. What does the leader of an army expect of me? That you accompany me to Edern. Perhaps you'll find your sorceress there. You'll certainly find someone who will soon change the balance of power in the north. That's two days' travel on foot. You'll never make it in time. I have a plan. What plan? First, you must agree to help us. I need to know more before I decide. No, Vatgern. You helped me with Letho. That's the sole reason we're speaking. We may both be pursuing the same son of a bitch, but I haven't forgotten the company you arrived in. Make your choice now. I'll let you go if you refuse. I couldn't do that later. Count me in. We'll get Letho together. Excellent. We've no time to lose. We need to capture the prison barge. You want to enter a town where they're massacring elves? I take back what I said. You're not grandiose. You're mad. My mother claimed likewise. I'm here. At last. The trading post is in turmoil. You sure this is a good idea? We'll not enter the town. We'll divide the unit. Take my best scout and attack from the harbor. I'll sail down river with the others. Most of the guards should be at the trading post. So we're benefiting from the massacre? Not the way I'd put it, but yes. The harbor could still be dangerous. What did you expect? A tea party? It's not that. We should trick them, as we did Letho. We can't expect any support in the harbor. But most of the guards are at the trading post. There's only a handful to deal with on the barge. Fine. They'll be dead before they can reach for their swords. Then we can signal the others. None will get away this time. All right, let's do it your way. Skoyatal, Evelyan! Vryad! Vryad! Follow me! This is the place. We have to get past the gate. Piece of Lembers. What? Nothing, Duan. Lead. Halt! Ho! 
Who goes there? The Witcher. A captured an elf. So catch. That's Yorvith. The reader will piss himself with joy. He ordered me to take him to the barge. Ha! We're about to sink that heap. Right here? What? And foul the water? No. We'll drown them down river. Let's go. Yorvith's been caught. Close the gates tight. I don't want a flea slipping through. Want to hear something funny, Gwendolyn? Kill the elves! I made life for these Dwarma living hell, yet I've never been here before. Hmm. Now that you see Kill the elves! What do you make of it? They see me for the first time as well, yet I sense not a hint of Hooray! I suppose not. They wish to watch me die, and I wish to watch them die. It's the way They've they got your best! The other side of the coin. Concept devised by philosophers in Oxenfurt who have never set foot in Flotsam or any place like it. No They've one's got going your to die best. today, Jorvin, apart from the Commandant's paid lackeys. Oi, where are you taking that elf? It's Jorvin. The Rita ordered me to put him on the prison barge. Fuck me, Jorvin himself. The son of a bitch shot me brother. Mind if I settle the score a little? All right. Have your fun. But make it quick. <clears throat> That's for my brother, elven bastard. That little Duan whore. I like his kind best. Killing them is like pulling weeds. Strangely relaxing. They might have gotten suspicious if you resisted longer. I think so. I just wanted a little diversion. I think you'll find just that on the barge. Where might you be going? I'm taking Yorbeth to the barge. The Rito's orders. Oh. All right then. Hatemonger's mutant. Think yourself a hero, do you? Sail away, and I'll burn these sluts alive! We sail. Our women are prepared to die. But I'm not prepared to let murder happen. I'm going ashore. Commandant 
Florido's gone mad. Burning them alive. Blow it! The butcher's in the right. Where's the reader? He's escaped. Gwynblade! Lorino's calling for reinforcements! We must sail! The tower's on fire. We have to jump. Unbind us! No! Lorino escaped. He'll not live long. If the local folk don't hunt him down, someone else will. It's meaningless. You rescued our women. We are indebted. Help me find the Kingslayer and Triss. We'll be even. In that case, Tavergan. Prepare to set sail! Did Vernon Roach sail out of here all right? He's fine, if that's what you ask. We met and chatted. Imagine that. I wanted him to know that he was only leaving because I let him do so. The Temerian Special Forces, created by Foltes to combat the Scoyatal after the first war with Nilfgaard. Veterans, professionals, the best of the best. This is the end, Roach. See these emblems? Temerian lilies, that's all I lacked. I've defeated the commanders of all the Special Forces in the North. Now I shall unite the Scoyatal. Finish what you started. I shan't kill you, Roach. We Enshe never kill the last specimens of dying breeds. Live on and remember who defeated you. Remember he can do so again. Va fail, Vernon Roach. You're making a mistake, Yorveth. I will find you. Unfurl the mainsail! You chose the right side, I am pleased. Wish I could be so sure. The assassin had had his day. Very true. He kidnapped Triss Marigold. It seemed like Fultus's life had not been enough. It seemed like the killer also wanted the monarch's former advisor. There was no time to think. It was time to act. Grabbing Geralt, I embarked on a voyage upriver, deeper into the Pontar Valley. If the elves could be believed, it was there that free folk from all around had assembled beneath Vergen's banners to resist the Kedweni invader. I should mention the exceptional individuals who made up my fellowship for this important quest. I usually get nervous around Scoyatel. I see them as scoundrels and murderers and find their presence outright unwanted. But I must admit I was glad to have the help of Yorveth and his infamous bunch, who could prove highly helpful. Help, helpful? That's not nice. Highly useful then. <laughs>